Hey guys, this week I am checking out what's in my bag. I'm sure a lot of you guys want to see what I bring on a multi-day tour or a bikepacking tour. So for this version of what's in my bag, I am going to go over what I bring with me on a multi-day bike tour. So let's check it out. All right, for the traditional setup is usually done by racks that are installed on the rear and the front of your bike. And you carry like what they call bags, which is panniers is what they call it. And um, usually there's two in the back and two in the front uh, over the tires, so it's kind of balanced, as well as a handlebar bag. And so that's what you see uh, installed on my bike. And that's what I've used to travel down the Pacific Coast two years ago and across Europe a year ago in 2015. So let's check out what I have carrying with me. All right, the first thing that came off of my bike is this important piece to uh, every bike tourist. Uh, maybe not all, everybody uses this, but I, ever since I've seen it on people's bike, I think it's absolutely necessary. The next thing that I have is my two-person tent. Uh, this is an older Quarter Dome T2 Plus. Um, they, there's newer versions, uh, which I don't know what the specs are, but this one is great. It's been with me for about four or five years, and uh, I use this um, both on most of my long trips, only because you know it's kind of nice to have, to settle down, have some space when you're sleeping, and you have two doors to come in and out and put it, your stuff in the vestibule. So. It's very convenient, very nice to have a two-person tent. All right, the next thing I put on the back of my tent is my rain gear. So that's what this plastic mess is here. And last but not least, my magical tarp. So yeah, you're probably wondering why, why I have a tarp when I have a tent uh, already that's kind of waterproof. Well, my tent's old and the seams actually started leaking when I was traveling through Europe. So helped out in terms of like keeping me dry when it was really uh, pouring. Um, and on top of that, you can use this as a picnic blanket or even just like a place where lay down to lay down. You just lay it all down and kind of rest there. And it's great for that. It's very lightweight. It actually compacts to a really small um, package here. Um, I like to have it on the rear rack because that's, that's a pretty great place to kind of cover all of your stuff too in case it does rain. Okay, so it, we're down to the main items that uh, are in my bags, my panniers. So the way I pack things are I treat each pannier as like a different room of my house. So we could just go through and start going through each pannier, each room, and I'll show you what I, I bring in there. So let's start with the, the first room, which is my office. So that's going to be at the front left pannier where I put all my uh, computer digital stuff. Uh, the reason why I put it there is because I get off on the left side and if I need to go anywhere that's uh, and you go shopping or anything, I pull that one immediately off and take it with me inside so nothing gets stolen along with my handlebar bag because I have equipment in there too. So that's the logic behind the way I set these uh, bags up and why I put it there. But let's get into that, the, what's in the bag. All right, welcome to my office. So this is on my office. This is the front, front left pannier on my back. So one of the main thing that I do bring is a blogging kit. So because I'm on the road, I like to document a lot of these things. The next thing I have in my bag for the office is my trusty old solar panel, the Goal Zero solar panel. I also bring with me an extra battery pack just to make sure that all my stuff are charged up. And then this little bag here is all my electronics. So for my battery pack, plug into the wall. Um, I also have a USB plug, the typical Apple ones for the iPad as well as the iPhone. And my USB cable, an extra USB cable just in case I need to charge. And of course, my handy I, the ear, earbuds uh, so that I can listen to my music or podcasts on the go. And then... The bag also serves as my garage, so it's, let me make that correction, it's my garage slash office, so maybe my work bag. Uh, so that's why I actually have a lot of like um, maintenance stuff. Of course, uh, you can't go anywhere without a multi-tool, so I have that in there, um, as well as a spare inner tube for my uh, bike. I have this one in there, but I also have one in the rear 
uh, seat back. I'll show you that later. And of course, my handy dandy uh, multi-tool kit here in the out tin, surrounded by inner tubes, and a duct tape, as well as extra chains, uh, some fiber fix spoke patch kits, and more duct tape. So you just can't have enough of those. So that's all in one cool tent you know, Altoids thin, um, tin here. And in addition to that, I have an extra set of uh, brakes that I bring along with me in case uh, I need to replace either the front or the rear. And then of course that pen I have with me just in case I need to write or sign anything. A set of zip ties. You can't, for any kind of repairs, both on the bike as well as like anywhere else, these are great to have with you. And of course, you have to grease your chain or components from time to time, so never forget to do that because if you treat your bike right, they'll treat you right. All right, the other side of my bike on the front, I'm gonna go uh, look at the, our kitchen. So let's see what's in there. Kitchen bag. My handy MSR dromedary bag. The six liter bag holds water whenever I need it. I have with me is my jet boil that I use to cook most of my meals with and it's great it's a great system um, I have this actually reviewed in a separate video but um, for he, for those that haven't seen it yet it's an all-encompassing kit that allows you to kind of cook eat your meals in it's got its own bowl here um, you're able and you know it doesn't come with a spork so you got to buy that but you know the stoves in here you just have to buy fuel and it's great it's a little heavier on the heavier side um, compared to like an alcohol stove but it's amazing in terms of like convenience so since i'm already carrying all this weight why not have something that's going to work very well and for a long time so there you go my jet boil then for those who really want to cook got me a little frying pan it's actually uh the brand is from this jet boil so you see the little flares out here that's specifically created for jet boil um, you know, from my experiences, having a plant pan is great and all, but it's a, it, they don't last long. They just basically get all messed up by the end of the trip because you'll overcook them. Especially this pan um, with a jet boil stove, it's so concentrated in the middle, so the heat doesn't dissipate evenly. Um, I've been having a lot of issues in terms of like getting the heat to cook well on that. And then, this is probably really optional as well. I love peanut butter on the road, so I always have a can of these with me um, whenever I'm traveling. This little top here is actually Gatorade powder. I also bring along with me a cutting board. Also optional, but very convenient when you have it. And then, salt and pepper in a contact lens. I don't know if you see this, but and this actually was an idea of my friend Ebony, so kudos to her for you know, thinking it up. And then this little nasty looking bag here is my cleaning set for kitchen, for my stove, for anything that needs to be cleaned after like a meal, oatmeal. All right, next I am going to uh, show you my handlebar bag, which is also a orderly uh, bag. They're great. They are waterproof. They are bulletproof. Very, not, well, not literally bulletproof, but they are awesome for bike touring. So I highly recommend that you get one. So I picked up this little black, or the bulletproof, not bulletproof, waterproof <laughs> handlebar bag. Um, the way I have it mounted, there's actually a cool little mount that has a little thing that sticks up for you to put your light or any mount any device on it. That's great because that has been a big challenge of mine on bike tours to like, where do I put my light when I have all this crap all over the place. So this, it's, it's awesome for that. Anyways, uh, my handlebar bag, I actually bought a map. You see here, this little map area to keep my map view, uh, map holder is what they call it. And this is something very useful, but I wish they would create a, a little better. It's already turning yellow and it really damages really easily. So it used to be waterproof, not anymore, so. Oh well, okay, what's in it? I keep with me my travel wallet. So this is a neoprene wallet neoprene little pouch I put all my uh, my things in including phones and sometimes and of course a trusty bottle opener and a key to my cable lock all right 
And then I also keep with me the strap to this bag. So in case if I go anywhere, I can put on the strap and um, I'm ready to go. Uh, and then the main thing in this bag is my awesome NEX, Sony NEX mirrorless camera that I carry with me to take pictures. So this is um, a must have for me in terms of documenting my trip. Love taking uh, pictures with this. Really crappy video for video, so it is what it is. I'm not gonna be taking videos with this puppy. Um, and then I have a couple of filters um, that I bring with me in case I want to do some different uh, darken up the, the shots. So I have that with me here. Um, as well as an extra lens. Um, I have the prime lens. This is the kit lens that came with the Sony. So that's also pretty cool. Um, tripod, in case I need to stand the camera up anywhere. It's great for my Sony and also I have a GoPro that I also bring with me. Um, or else a smaller form camera was, is also useful. And I, you know, the GoPro is a recent purchase and I, I would love to bring this along more, um, but I normally carry like a smaller Canon uh, camera, but I think I'm gonna replace it with this puppy here. Um, and then, not, but uh, not, the, you know, it looks like it's all digital and, and whatnot in here, but, I actually carry a couple other things like this is a tool to undo the SNS couplers for my um, for my bike. So you kind of use this to kind of open up the couplers and take the bike apart when you need to put it somewhere compact. And you know what? The handlebar bag is probably one of my favorite bags that I, I, I love carrying because you're able to kind of put anything you need immediately on in here so sometimes it's brimming with stuff so you know you gotta manage that otherwise you'll just fill it up with so much crap but this bag can handle it and then moving from front to the back of the bike we come upon the seat bag um, so this is what I use to carry um, my tire kit so I'll just show you what's inside another inner tube as well as some tire levers and maybe a few bucks here and there but I don't have that with me right now but usually like some uh, emergency cash or whatever okay we have come to the end of the bike literally the end of the bike so at the end of the bike there's two panniers one is my bedroom and one is my closet so let's check out what's going on in this looks like my closet is my toiletry set so this is a pretty he heavy one um, I got toothpaste from Romania, I got Dr. Bombers, I got my toothbrush, I got my face wash, I got my eye drops, chapstick, shave, uh, shaver, uh, you name it, I got it. I also have an eye patch as well as a earplugs and um, headlamp. Next thing I have in here, uh, along with my closet, is an emergency kit. All right, let's jump right into this closet here. So I have here in a one, uh, these might be two gallon, yeah, two gallon bags, um, all rolled up are all my shirts I travel with, including this one that I'm wearing. And the, the next thing is my box, my bag of underwear. I got two pairs. And the next thing I have with me is my trusty old puffy jacket. Uh, this is North Face Thermal Ball jacket that I bring with me almost everywhere. So this is a very compactable, lightweight, keeps you warm whenever you need it. So I won't leave home without this. And then I have my convertible pants. Ta-da! These are like hiking pants that I have with me when I wear in camp. Or, you know, if, I'm, if my shorts needs to be cleaned, I, I may put this on zip off the legs and ride with them. So either way, they're handy for both um, on the go as well as while you're resting. And I think this is the last item. This is my camp towel that I keep uh, with me. All right, we are down to the last bag. This is my bedroom bag. So let's get into it. So outside my bedroom bag, which lives on the left side of my bike where I get off, I have my lock attached to it. So whenever I need to lock up the bike, undo that, take this thing off, and I'm good to, to go, to use it. All right, so diving right into my 
bedroom bag, the first thing I see here is my trusty old sleeping bag. This is a down-filled bag from REI called, uh, I believe, Halo. It's a three-season um, sleeping bag up to 40 degrees. Um, great bag. You've gone er everywhere with it around Europe, around uh, down the coast, but you know, mainly outside of the winter, it's an awesome bag. Um, and then the next thing, essential thing is my sleeping pad sleeping pad a uh, thermo rest i believe is a neo air x light one of their better models um, really compact really light um, it's got a cool not cool but it has a layer that uh insulation layer so that you know whenever whenever it's cold you're not going to feel it as much it kind of keeps the warmth in so it's great for that i have a mummy liner that i bring with me um, so this is great because for two things, you know, like if you caught out in the cold and you need some more warmth, this adds another six to seven degrees is what they say. So, you know, to have something like this, it's, it's, a, it's a godsend, especially when you're cold. Um, and then on top of that, if you're say, if you go somewhere and you don't have any showers and it's, you're kind of sweaty and sticky, no problem. Just put this on, sleep, uh, sleep in this. Put it, get into your sleeping bag and you don't have to worry about washing your sleeping bag as often and just wash the liner as, as more than more than enough. So I, I mean, it's a great thing to have. So I carry this with me when I'm on a longer trip. And of course, a bedroom set cannot be complete without your own pillow. Um, I also have a lock, a combination lock that I bring with me. And of course, I have a rope. Yeah. That is it. Uh, one other thing, I probably should go over like what's on the bike. Um, I do have a pump, a full frame pump that I carry with me. Um, this is great because it actually pumps up my tires a lot faster than a smaller compact frame. And yeah, I can get one of those CO2 pumps, but I don't really want to deal with those cartridges and refilling those and whatnot. And I know they have ones that it doubles as a cartridge as a CO2 pump, but. I really like my full frame pump. It's just nice and big and you're able to kind of pump your tire a lot faster, um, more efficiently, you know. Um, and then attached on it is uh, a rear view mirror. I travel with the mirror, uh, usually on longer trips so that I can look behind me. And finally, we have uh, lights in the front and rear of my bike. Uh, the front light is mounted on that or leap uh, contraption where it's like a little thing. It's, uh, the light I use is called Light in Motion. Don't know the model, but I can find out later. Anyways, it's a 600 lumens, great light. I try not to use right at night, so I try not to have that um, out as much. But if it does get dark and you get caught up, you have a have a light. And then for the rear light, I have a Super Flash Planet Bike light, which is a light that kind of pulsates in different um, patterns so people can see you on the road. Um, this is one of these lights I've seen or picked up when I was coming down the coast. Almost everybody who was riding down the coast had one and it was really noticeable riding with it, riding behind some, someone with it. So pick one up. Um, it's a pretty decent light. Um, I like it works people see me that's all that matters um, and oh and maybe going over the what's uh, the rear of my bike there I have a tubus rack in the rear as well as a front double salsa um, racks that came that meant for the salsa via um, I'm also running some fenders um, both front and rear tire um, they're great when it's raining and I believe that is it all right, there you have it, my multi-day uh, packing list. So check out how it looks like all laid out here. There you have it, what I bring with me on a long-term tour. So this is exactly what I had with me when I was coming down the coast, how I was traveling across Europe. That's 48 pounds that I carry all along. And you know, you gotta make sure you gotta uh, distribute the weight appropriately. You know, 60% in the front, 40% in the back, um, and you'll have a balanced bike. So 
make sure you adhere to that and um, your writing would be a lot more comfortable that way. If you have any questions about my setup or if you want more information, photos, whatever, just make sure you reach out to me on milestonerise.com or leave a comment below. Thanks for watching guys. Check out my last video here or subscribe to my channel for more bike touring topics. So until next time, make sure you get out there and discover your ride.